Okay, uh, so next, punta naman tayo sa risk preferences or yung uh, attitude ng investor uh, depending on the level of risk. So, ang question natin dito, uh, ano ba yung effect ng level of risk or uh, yung change in risk level dun sa uh, sentiments or dun sa attitude ng uh, investor? So, we have A, nasa sa pag-analyze ng uh, chart na to. So, makikita natin dito, this is X1 uh, and then X sub 2, X sub 1, X sub 2. So, kung mapapansin natin, ditang ako ng uh, sorry. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, uh, the risk level increased. Yeah, increase in risk level. So, higher risk. <laughs> Sorry, ang hihap ng mouse eh. Anyway, so, ano daw yung effect in the uh, increase uh, in risk level? So, it depends on the type of investor. So, meron daw tayong tatlo. So, we have risk seeking, risk indifferent, and risk averse. So, sisahin natin yan. So, dito sa uh, risk seeking, ano napansin natin dyan? Nag-increasing level of risk, Pero ano nangyari, ano nangyari doon sa required or expected return ni investor? ba Bumaba. Okay. So, nag-increase yung risk, pero bumaba yung required rate of return ni investor. So, si investor dito, uh, lumalabas ay aggressive. Uh, kasi kahit uh, nag-increase yung risk, willing pa din siyang itig yung investment. Even with a lower required or expected return. Okay. So, lagyan natin dito ha, letter A. Kasi yan yung aggressive okay, investor. Okay? So, uh, next, we have indifferent. So, ano naman yung risk indifferent? Nag-increase na yung level of risk, pero yung required or expected return ni investor, walang pagbabago. Okay? So, dito si investor, kahit tuma tumaas yung risk, so, risk indifferent. Wala siyang pakialam. ba Okay? Uh, and then finally, yung ating uh, risk averse. So, ano naman yung risk averse? So, dito si investor, no nag-increase yung level of risk, okay, ano nangyari dun sa required or expected return? Nag-increase din. Uh, nag-increase din siya. Yan, oh. So, yan yung risk averse. So, kung itong risk seeking ay aggressive, tumaas yung risk, willing pa din mag-invest. So, dito naman, tumaas yung risk, oh, okay, dapat mas mataas yung return na marireceive ko. So, lumalabas class, ito yung conservative na investor. Okay? So, actually, class, uh, sa investment strategy, magre-reflect din yan. Yung uh, level of risk and uh, required or expected return. Class, uh, sige, susulit ko ha. Yung risk-seeking investors, or uh, yung risk preference na ganyan, yan yung ang strategy nila ay nasa focus. Focus. Okay, uh, bakit siya nabing focus? Kasi uh, the higher the level of the risk, mas mababa yung required or expected return. So, willing pa din sila mag-invest dyan sa certain instrument na yan. Okay, so uh, while ito ng mga risk averse, so kung uh, tumaas yung risk, dito naman ang goal nila is what? To diversify. Ayan, yan lang susulat na, may dito eh. So, to diversify that risk. Okay, so yan yung different uh, risk preferences. So syempre class, ang logical na investor okay, ay ganito. Kung tumaas yung risk, oh, for example, ikaw, di ba tumaas yung risk level. So ano yung required or expected return mo sa investment mo? So most likely dapat tataas din. So dito yung ano natin, dito yung logical na investor, risk averse. Okay, kaya later, ang i-discuss natin ay ito, yung diversification instead of focus. Okay?